What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the J -J -J Jonesies. And today we got another Let's Talk About It. Yes, yeah, so what's our Let's Talk About It about? Why aren't guys taught to be dads? <laughs> Why you acting like it's a topic? Because they want to mess it up, it is. <laughs> <laughs> what is the topic? Why aren't guys taught to be dads? Yeah, so today we're about to dive into this topic because this is a topic that's very popular and not often talked about. Mm -hmm. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay guys, thanks for all the subscribers. If you're watching yes. this video and you're not subscribed, please subscribe, join the family. We talk about a lot of good things. <laughs> we do some product reviews. We cook sometimes. It's just, you know, it's just hanging out with us. Yes. So, in this video we're talking about why, why men or boys aren't taught to be dads. So this is a serious topic to me because as you guys know, me and Jarvis just had a beautiful daughter. <laughs> <laughs> She's awesome and amazing. So, um, Usually, well, you this said is, that like a newscast. You was like, she's nice and amazing. It was funny. Well, did I? <laughs> yeah. She is nice and amazing. So, um, of course, this is gonna, you know, parenthood is gonna have its trials and tribulations and fun mm -hmm. and all that good stuff. And so, not so fun. Whatever. Times. Whatever. <laughs> so, uh, so um, in the midst of some of me and Jar Jarvis's Jarvis wow. Jarvis's arguments. We have came across like epiphanies and things like that as far as like why does society think this? Why does, you know, new parents feel this? Why does mm -hmm. the older generation feel this? Right. So in the midst of our argument, um, what the heck happened? What were we arguing about? Pampers and going to sleep and stuff like that, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what it was. I was sleeping <laughs> see, too much. See, you don't even care. Like, you <laughs> see, obviously don't even care. So we were we was having an argument about that, and I'm just like, okay, like why is it so easy for the guys not to care, to be able to walk away and stuff like that? They don't, they don't have the responsibilities or the what would you say like the I don't know the same the same responsibilities that we have the same thought process that we have when it comes to parenting and things like that because it's like okay like yeah I'm still like do 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 and the mom's like okay I gotta do this 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 and it's different mm -hmm. and it's annoying and it creates confusion in your relationship because it's like okay I'm gone I'm gone hold to this situation and you're not mm -hmm. and like it's like why is it that why why do we always um why do we have that in us but they don't have it in them what the heck is going on? So, I think I think I figured it out. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I think I figured it out and I believe it's because that the parents or the mom or the dad, whatever the situation is, is not teaching their sons how to be dads. Like, yeah, the big thing is like, oh yeah, you know, we're gonna teach them how to be a man, mm -hmm. per se. But I'm not teaching them how to be a dad. So you can teach somebody how to be a man, but you can't. But you're not teaching them how to be a dad. It's two different things. Mm -hmm. So it's like me and Jarvis is trying to find a solution on how do you teach them how to be a dad? Where did you guys go wrong? Where it's like okay, he know how to go to work, gets the money, but he don't know how to take care of these kids. Mm -hmm. Like that's the issue. And I've been seeing this big thing on social media far as like, oh. um somebody had this dad had put up him hugging his son or whatever and uh, it was like a bunch of comments on there they were saying like oh um if he's like 16 or 12 that's kind of what the hugs and stuff stop or whatever we don't do mm -hmm. that no more what that's just stupid yeah, that's who would say that why would you not hug your child right. even though he's a boy you still need to hug him mm -hmm. and it's like that's the issue right there like smack that up that's the issue you guys are not showing the guys affection so this is the reason why it's like okay uh they looking like uh i don't know what to do or where it goes so once they have kids they don't have it in them they don't have that model that they were supposed to have as they were kids to go into them having their own kids mm -hmm. so it's kind of like a we get them and we're like okay what the is wrong with you like why you don't know how to take care of this baby like what's wrong with you why are you not acting affectionate why are you not doing this why are you not doing the the little simple stupid stuff and it's because nobody taught you how to do that why are we not teaching them how to do this i think it comes from 
like we said, it's it's a different time now. Mm -hmm. But back then, it's more of you know, especially in the African American community. Uh huh. Like you have to get them ready for the world. You mm -hmm. have to get them ready for. Yeah, just the world. And as far as like being being black in the world, it's like you gotta be tough. Ain't no time for no mushy mushy stuff. It's like you just gotta be tough. Like, but that's said. still not an excuse. It's it's not an excuse, but at the same time, that's just it's like it's like a generational curse per per se. Just because it's like okay, you were taught to be strong, not to show any emotion, go to work, come home, do what you're supposed to provide for your family. So when it comes to like the emotion part. And things like that. It's just kind of like. But like, what impact are we making? We making a bad impact just because it's I get like what okay, saying, we gotta teach this person how to be tough. Yes. But it's like, yeah, you can you can be tough and you can still be affectionate because yes. we have to do but the that. times. The I'm saying the times have changed. So now it's not that. But back then, that's just how it had to be. That's how it had to be. But I it's, think it's, that's reverse. How's it reverse? Because I feel like now this generation doesn't know. They really don't care to be dads. Back then, they'd be like, okay, I got to take care of my child. It, that's in reverse. No, it's that's not what I'm saying. What are you saying? What I'm saying is, um, as far as just like the mindset when it comes to emotion and stuff, just because, um, it's just kind of like, if you're not a good dad, you're not a good dad. That's just Okay, that's theory. one issue. But what I'm saying is as far as not being in tune with your emotions and stuff like that, it was just kind of like, where it come from was just like, it come from for just being a man and being hard type thing. But I'm saying, I'm thinking it's, it's, <clears throat> that our dads know how to be dads, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have mean dads. We, our dads know how to be dads, but the dads now don't know how to be dads. Mm-hmm. And that it could be a trigger of, you know the their their dads not being in their life, so it's like the mom has to raise the child. So that could be an issue too. But so basically, like single moms just need to try to at least try to get like some type of male figure in their son's life if they don't have the dad available, mm -hmm. so they can get that you know that experience where it's like okay, this is what you're supposed to do. This is how you're supposed to act. This is the model for them because right. it's very very important for them to have that figure because we can't teach them how to be a man in the right way I would say like mm -hmm. in the manly way I would say because <laughs> we don't know how it feels to be a man right or whatever but I just I really think it's important we just need to start normalizing it's okay to cry it's okay to show emotions mm -hmm. like invite that in because when you don't we get the men and it's like okay uh what are you doing like why don't you know how to do this why you know what I'm saying? Why you not talking? Why you know we had now we we having these stupid arguments right. because nobody made it more made you feel okay for you to talk about your feelings or you know what I'm saying or talk to mm -hmm. how to conversate. Right. So it's like I feel like we're coming into a time now that it's more um, we're more prone to listening to you know the kids feeling, making sure that they have a voice. Making sure that they're able to explain how they feel just yep. because it's like, okay, if you don't, if you tell them be quiet or yep. you just listen, it's like, okay, now they don't know how to t articulate how they feel. Yes. Now in the future, they're just going to be like, my feelings don't matter, so I'm not going to say nothing. I'm going to just sit here, let you talk, whatever, and then and I'm going to be bottled away. up or right. whatever. And it's just like, it's pointless. It's like, in, in that aspect of us not, by your parents not making it okay for you to talk it's like you're ruining relationships you're mm -hmm. ruining you're ruining business you know business transactions um regular relationships because mm -hmm. they don't know how to talk like usually you're like um you ever met the person where you're like okay like you literally have an anger problem i don't want to talk to you no more <laughs> like what's wrong with you and it's just because of that one no that one safe space that was made where it's like no shut up you can't talk don't nobody care be a man stop crying it's like they can cry. They're a kid. They're trying to get out their emotions. Like, just listen to what they have to say. Right. You know so what I'm saying? It's Help just kind of like you have to. They don't have anger issues. Right. They have, well, some people do, but <laughs> they don't. They don't have anger issues. You're just not listening. Right. Like, just listen to what they so say. So you have to make sure that you know your kid knows that they have a voice. So it's yes. like even if even if they in trouble, whatever you don't want to hear, you just let them talk. Like yeah. let them let them get out what was on their mind. Because at the end of the day, it could be something that you just like. You know what? 
I understand. I, I can understand or I know what you're, you know, what you say. Even though they did, they might have done something stupid or foolish. You're just like, okay, I, I understand your thought process behind it type thing. Just This let is them, the way to go. Like, you can right. still navigate through, through that or whatever. So, don't always just be like, no, 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 no. That's not what you do, blah, blah, blah. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just have a conversation with them. Exactly. To figure out what's going on because mm -hmm. this is really, really, really important. Right. Because it's like... We're having an issue about a baby because you didn't you didn't get this experience. You didn't you didn't you weren't able to talk or whatever. And it's it's crazy how we us women us girls we are prepared to be moms, but they're not prepared to be dads. We have all these Barbie dolls, all these kitchen sets, all this stuff <laughs> like this to model and tell us how to be a mom, but they they don't have anything. They just kind of just do it. They got motorcycles and stuff like that. So it's like, okay, when they get older, what they doing? Getting a bigger motorcycle. And that's not a toy motorcycle. It's a real motorcycle. So it's like, we're, we're being prepared, but they don't have anything to prepare them. So we have to do our like, due diligence as parents. We're just getting prepared to work in... Right. That's so petty. Like, yeah. Why is that? Why is that a thing? Just, it's all, it's how it's, it's so just sexist, always bro. Been. It's how it's, it's always so sexist. Been. Yes, this is it, how it always be. But I'm just been. saying, but this is the reason why they don't know how to take the cake take care of their kids in the future because we being mama mama and y'all y'all just being with y'all y'all got y'all living y'all lives you know yes, living our best lives right you know but it's just like and we freaking rocking babies at it's like three years old like what the heck is this but it's kind of like okay majority it's just kind of like majority of the time it's just hard for us to get it right off like i know That's for me true. for me it's just hard to flip that switch mm -hmm. um it's easier for women because it's like okay you've been carrying this baby for nine right, we, months we get that instinct you will have that instinct y'all have this you but know, still blah, blah, through blah, blah, like blah. we're preparing because just like okay use this example <laughs> tell me if i'm wrong like this is crazy like okay if i i'm a little girl i have a baby that rocking the baby out oh you know oh she's so cute that's your baby uh -huh. he take the baby out still the same age does the same thing the first reaction what's your first reaction when the boy grabs the baby down, what's your first reaction? Put it down. Exactly. Put it down. Okay, in the future, when he have a real baby, what you gonna say? Put it down? No. Okay, <laughs> so just to curve this, you could just say if they had a baby down, like, oh yeah, when you get married to your wife, you gonna you have a, you can kind of turn the situation. You ain't gotta make it all bad. You know what right. I'm saying? So it's like right. when you shun that situation, it's kind of like a. Okay, I don't supposed to do this. I don't supposed to love no baby. I'm supposed to kiss on a baby. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's like those little things that kind of like, you know, change your your view on certain mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. Does that make but, sense? Yeah. But like I said, it's just it's one of those things that's it's kind of hard to get right off. Yeah. Or whatever. It's like, don't don't feel bad because it's just like you're gonna get it eventually. Like when you're gonna you try, get it. you have to try. You have to try that. <laughs> you're gonna get it. Yeah. So that's why I was like. It's so easy for, like you said, it's so easy for guys to walk away just because it's They don't like, have that. And it's less, it's just yeah, like, it's oh just my kinda God. Like, it's kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of like you're in an uncomfortable space. And it's like, if you don't have, if you're not willing to do it or you don't have the will to do it, then it's just kind of like, that's why it's so easy for y'all to walk away. Because it's kind of like, yeah, you and it's kind of like, okay. like, I just do it by myself because you're stupid. Like, right. I just do it by myself because you but don't know like, what you're doing. Exactly. But it's just kind of like. You have to, you have to have the willingness to do it. It's gonna, you know, the thick skin. You just gotta be able to just go back and. And it's keep doing going it, keep to doing, be keep doing freaking hard. Like it's hard. Like mm -hmm. this is stuff that you have to get through um, before you even have a baby. I would say at least start a try, like making that safe space for that person to talk and express mm -hmm. themselves. Because once you have a baby, it just makes it st the situation more complicated. Right. It's just it. I would say. Babies bring a lot of love and stuff like that, but they also bring a lot of stress and um, enlightenment, enlightenment and sensitivity to situations. So it's kind of yep. like if y'all don't have strong communication before, before it is gonna wreck it. In the it's end. gonna wreck it because okay, now you're after, and then it's like okay, you're you're struggling and not being able to pick it up, and then I, and now she's pissed. So it's just kind of like now she's just gonna be like rah rah against you. Mm -hmm, because and you're just like. F it, man. I'm done. I'm right, because we're right. Uh, we're in a li we're in a time we're going through postpartum or whatever, and certain days we just we don't even know what's wrong or whatever. So it's like, okay, if I'm going through this and we don't have a strong communication, then I'm just gonna automatically piss, get out the room. I don't want to deal with you. Get out my face. Right. But if we have a communication, it's like, okay, let's try to understand what's really going on. I don't know why I'm feeling this way. Um, you ugly. <laughs> 
know what I'm saying? I know what's going on, but I feel like this. Or I don't want to talk right now. You kind of figure it out type thing. Or, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You have that communication where it's like, okay, like, you know this is not how I am. But we have that safe space where we'll be like, okay, she told me to get out the room, but she told me to get out the room, I'm gonna get out and leave. It's gonna be, she told me to get out the room, I'm gonna get the, you know, I'm gonna get the baby, do what I need to do on my end type thing, and we're gonna come back together. Right. So I was, so you just have I to have, have that to foundation say, of yeah, definitely communication. Have that foundation, and you also have to be able to be just like, okay, she's going through a lot, let me just, you know, gather myself let's yes. figure out what's wrong let's loop this all back together yes end but, of the day we all love each other exactly but end of the day please stop making the little boys feel like they're bad just because they're crying mm -hmm. just because they want to talk or whatever it's okay they can do the same thing that you teach your girls to do like right. they can talk it's okay like this is a good thing and this is an issue that we're making it making them feel like there's some punks because they're not <laughs> talking like right. that's an issue Mm -hmm. so. but <laughs> thanks so much for joining us we appreciate yeah. you guys if you're not already subscribed make sure you guys subscribe we and love you please guys comment yes. we want to know what y'all think please yes comment. please let us know because <laughs> I really feel like I, fi I figured it out like I figured it out when we have these these lame partners bro like because they're not getting it they're not getting this information but please comment like subscribe and we will see you guys next time thank you so much